Hello and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory YouTube channel. This video demonstrates a method for collecting a sample for rabies testing from an adult bovine without opening the skull. If diagnostics for diseases other than rabies will be requested, please submit the entire brain. Intact heads are also accepted for testing. Testing for rabies requires a section from the cerebellum and a full cross section of the brainstem. These samples must be collected with minimal tissue trauma. The appearance of the cerebellum and brainstem may be used to identify them after removal. The portion of brainstem removed should include the obex. The obex appears as a V shape on the dorsal surface of the brainstem. The cerebellum is identified by the lobulated and branching pattern of white and gray matter. These samples must be in good condition. Prior to beginning sample collection, assemble the tools needed, a clean, sharp necropsy knife, a grapefruit knife or modified grapefruit spoon, a scalpel, a pair of thumb forceps, a whirl pack or Ziploc bag, and a permanent marker. Label the selected bag with the animal ID, specimen type, and date of collection. Begin by disarticulating the head from the neck at the atlanto-occipital joint. Place the head with the dorsal side down on a flat, stable surface. The frame and magnum should be facing you. Grasp the dura mater with the thumb forceps. Use the scalpel to gently sever the connections between the dura mater and the brainstem. Insert a grapefruit knife between the dura mater and the brainstem so the length of the blade is within the skull. Use a rotating motion to sever the brainstem as far rostral as possible while applying gentle traction to the brainstem with forceps. This procedure should be completed in one motion so as to avoid damaging the tissue. Remove the brainstem through the foramen magnum. The brainstem or a cross section of the brainstem may be submitted for rabies testing. A sample of cerebellum is collected blindly using the grapefruit knife to scoop out a section. Again, take care not to damage the architecture of the tissue. The samples of both brainstem and cerebellum should be placed in the bag and sealed. These specimens should be shipped on ice packs for overnight delivery. If you will not be shipping the samples immediately, please refrigerate the sample prior to shipping. Thank you for tuning into the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory YouTube channel. If you have questions about this video or any of our services, please visit us at www.ksvdl.org.